Good morning. Um, so I only have like one day trade at IB and I saw some good plays. SCPS is like literally a junior version of BTX. It's a biotech. It had positive news today, FDA approval. So it had a, it's having a first green day with enough volume to rotate the entire float pretty much. The last time it did this, it went to 48. So considering all this, those bag holders, it went from like five to 15 instead of, you know, from like eight to 48. Um, so looking at it, it was pretty much a short squeeze the entire morning. It was like, cause it doesn't make sense, right? None of these biotechs make sense. But when there's positive news, like you can't be shorting biotech. So it got squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, people are like, okay, this is it. No, squeeze. <laughs> it hit um, 20 today. And I wanted to short right here, just 10 shares just to test it out because it is kind of fucking scary the way it can halt. Um, risking like 1710 from like the 16s. And there was no shares to short. So if I don't, I there probably is something at trade zero they're usually good, but not, not at IB. So, um, I was like, well, should I take this long? I mean, it's just so up so much. And I'm just like, I'm not interested in going long on this. So I liked my entry because this is the first step down. Like this is the stairway up. This was kind of like a fake out breakdown and got squeezed, but this risking this high instead of this high. Um, so I liked that play. And then I also saw this one. This one was another random spiking biotech. Um, I didn't like the daily chart. It's a low float. Is this one? This one is, yeah, a low float also. So um, I, I was interested in shorting this right here in like the nines. <laughs> now it's in the sevens. No shares to short at IB. So this one disappears. This one I was watching all freaking morning. So, but there's no shares to short, so I don't even have to feel so bad. This was a nice, a nice bounce to VWAP, but what happened with this one was it spiked in that first candle all the way to 18, and I was waiting for it to come closer, and it never did. And every time I was like thinking about it, like it would collapse even more, collapse even more. So this was a nice bounce to VWAP risking off of 1702, but um, this is probably the second best perfect entry this I was just like ah because looking at the daily chart I don't I mean this has had so many green days in a row it's time for it to have a red day and I don't know it just seemed interesting to me higher flow not a lot of volume so I don't trust these ones that don't have a lot of volume and I don't see any news but this one was nice and this one looks like it's still going like so I think I would only trust this on a red day because this, see, it doesn't even seem like it has an 8 million flow. Like this is uh, like that. It seems like that stuff that JJ talks about on the podcast of like a manipulated short squeeze, like either that or like people are just like jumping into shit, like trying to short anything because this was halting so much. Like it was scary. It was like over here in the 15s, but the, the ass was like 10 and the bid was 20. Like it was insane. So, um, I'm getting a little more like reserved, like unless I'm seeing a backside of the move, <coughs> then I'm not touching it. Like I'm a little bit more careful. Like, let me see OBLN. I feel like I have more standards now. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't like the daily chart on this one. Um, kind of a lower float has volume. interesting I mean this peak was really nice 490s I don't know this one's interesting too Let's see the one minute chart but I really want something that goes like straight up and then just <laughs> comes straight back down like like this 
this was beautiful today. So what can I do? I can't capitalize on this shit, but at least I'm watching it, you know? At least I had the patience to not enter here as a short seller. Like always backside of the move, always a step down, like risking that candle. Like what the hell are people doing? They're going to get like screwed. And I would never trade this with size because this is so fucking scary. This could just blow you out of the water in a second. This is like $5. Like each time it squeezes, like this shit is scary. So anyway, that was my observation for today. Nothing else going on. So... Oop, I just saw RHE pop up. I think I've already seen this one. This is a nice, um, it looks like all the biotechs are like racing for some reason. It's having a first green day after it is a low float. But this is really nice from like freaking 14. It's like a dollar jump. So I like these ones that go straight up. Is it going into resistance at 14? Mm, pretty much. It's just really going. Wow. Today is like a super day of like squeezing shorts in biotechs. <laughs> but because of this daily chart, um, and I don't see any real news. Okay, they got quarter one results. I'm gonna check what their results are. So they just got halted. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this. Maybe I'll find some shares to short and I could short 10 of them and just test it out or risk high of day. But this is a low flow, it's dangerous. All these are dangerous for short sellers. So that's all for now. Oh, look at this. S, it's crashing. Okay, so now I'm watching this one. Um, all right, have a good day.